Fellas, I got some news here, and man, is it spicy. Outbreak Prime is making a return, or so we believe. This was in the database earlier today, and this is also in Bungie's API. Again, LightGG is pulling this straight from the API, and this is obviously an exotic catalyst icon for Outbreak Prime. Now, Outbreak Prime was a pulse rifle brought to us in Rise of Iron, and it had a very long and lengthy quest to obtain it. It was probably the most intense exotic quest in probably the entire history of destiny now for those that don't remember what the weapon was it came with the perk the corruption spreads which states that enemies that take repeated hits from this weapon spawn siva nanites that attack other enemies fallen take extra damage it also came with the perk virulence precision kills release a siva nanite swarm that attacks other enemies this is just some gameplay a while back it was pretty nasty i specifically liked it in pve despite it taking up an exotic slot but considering that we're seeing already the exotic catalysts in the database really makes me wonder how they're going to bring back outbreak prime to me i don't think it's going to be just basic copy and paste traits here considering it's going to have a catalyst present on the weapon could be but i think there's gonna have to be something potent here to actually stir up the community now i do believe that the weapon its exotic quest is probably going to be something on the level of whisper of the worm maybe even harder some have even speculated the exotic quests could possibly be live right now we just haven't found it yet. If I was a betting man, I would say it is probably live. It's just gonna require us or some data miners to figure out how to get it going. But considering, like I said, how difficult it was to solve back in Destiny 1, I definitely could see it being at least maybe a week or two until we actually get it figured out. Again, once this ball gets rolling, it snowballs so quickly, and before you know it, everybody's going for this thing. It just requires some people to really minutely go through some details in order to figure out how this quest starts and where to go with it now that's not the only thing we got in today's database we also got a release of a bunch of different exotic catalysts actually exotic catalysts that are coming to all of our year two exotic weapons or the ones specifically from forsaken shout out to one of the devs here from light gg but essentially these are the exotic catalysts that we're looking at they're currently classified and he does mention here to take all of these with a grain of salt as they are all super classified a lot of these look like just stat changes as you see here cerberus is getting a plus 20 stability but a minus 30 reload malfeasance is getting a plus 20 in range trinity ghoul is actually getting a minus 30 in charge time so it's really going to drop that draw speed down lord of wolves is actually getting a magazine increase here of 40 but he does have some question marks here obviously there's going to be something else added here to lord of wolves way splitter is getting a buff to its range and an ammo capacity buff 1000 voices is getting a stability buff as well as an ammo capacity buff queen breaker is getting a range buff and an aim assist buff Alrighty then two tail fox is getting a reload speed of minus 30 but a weapon size increase of plus 10 he did state here that it could be ammo capacity that needs scaled and finally we have black talon that is getting also a magazine buff of 40 so with all of that being said he's got some question marks on some of these right which really makes me think that the question marks could be an added perk of some sort so most of our exotic catalysts yes they substantially buff certain stats but some definitely come with specific perks that actually add to the weapon now it doesn't necessarily make the weapon super strong if you take something like vigilance wing it's it's added perk is full auto not that the weapon really even needs that it's just kind of whatever either way it goes we've got a lot of stuff coming up guys i'm excited to see all of these exotic catalysts some of these is really going to shake things up cerberus really has me interested like i don't really know if plus 20 stability is going to make that big of a difference on that weapon it could i would have actually liked to have seen like a stability buff and a range buff but we'll just see Either way it goes, I'm excited for all of this. Now, with that being said, there is some speculation that we actually have exotic catalysts coming to some of our other exotics, but we don't have anything in terms of like stat changes. So supposedly we're going to be looking at possibly, again, this is all like theoretical out of my realm of knowledge, guys. I'm not a data miner. I'm just taking information that is put out by the guys that are actually doing all of this deep diving inside of Bungie's API. But we could possibly see exotic catalysts 
for Wishender, The Last Word, Thorn, Arbalus, Izanagi's Burden, La Monarch, Jotun, Anarchy, Thunderlord, and that's that's pretty much it, which really is turning out to be like every exotic inside of year two. Now, we don't have any information on that, what those exotic catalysts could be. They just happen to now have an empty catalyst socket, which could mean one or two things. Maybe those are actually the ones in the works, and like the ones we actually have stats on are the ones that we're probably going to get a release of maybe this month and into season of opulence either way it goes guys we've got a lot of juicy stuff outbreak prime being the biggest one as soon as i get a whiff of what's going on with outbreak prime where that one is floating in the wild i will let you guys know we will immediately jump on that quest if you have any information on outbreak prime or where that quest could possibly start like in the lore i really need to sit down and look at the lore because it's going to be something crazy like that it's strange though to me because outbreak prime is a siva weapon and we don't have siva present and it's all related to the iron lords so i don't really know how it ties into things i know there's been speculation that siva would be returning in year three but i i have no idea guys all i know is that this exotic quest should be the exotic quest that was promised to us this season so outbreak prime should be something present to us very soon if not right now we just got to find the quest well fellas and ladies hey thank you all for coming and watching and as always slap that like button like your mama told you right